What's up for March? Bright Saturn and a faint asteroid named Lutetia. Hello and welcome. I'm Jane Houston Jones at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory in Pasadena, California. This month, Saturn is at opposition, which is when the Sun is on one side of the Earth and Saturn is directly on the opposite side. Saturn is brightest at opposition, and it's also as close to Earth as it ever gets in its orbit. You can view Saturn all night long now. It rises in the east at sunset and sets in the west at dawn. If you face east in the late evening, you can see two planets near the distinctive constellation Leo. First look nearly overhead. That reddish object you see up there is Mars. Closer to the horizon, the bright golden-hued object is Saturn. Saturn is well placed for viewing from now through July. This year, Saturn's rings are slightly inclined. They were tilted four degrees in January. They'll dip to nearly edge on in June and then tip up to 10 degrees by year end. The solar system was a violent place to start with. There were many crashes in which small bodies broke into pieces and reformed. The study of asteroids helps us understand a lot more about the early solar system history. Of the millions of asteroids in our solar system, only a few have been observed up close. Near the middle of the constellation Leo is the challenging to see and faint main belt asteroid 21 Lutetia. You'll need a good star chart and a medium to large telescope plus dark skies to glimpse this small 12th magnitude asteroid. If you don't see Lutetia, that's okay because the European Space Agency's Rosetta spacecraft will pay its second visit to this interesting object in July, passing within 3,000 kilometers of the asteroid. Rosetta had its first look at Lutetia in January of 2007. The OSIRIS camera imaged the asteroid passing through its field of view during the spacecraft's approach to Mars for a gravity assist. Rosetta's instruments will collect enough information to create a resume of the asteroid's past, where it was born, how it got started on its asteroid career, and if there were any mid-course corrections. The Cassini spacecraft has been studying Saturn, its rings, and moons since arriving in 2004. Cassini's seven-year solstice mission extension to the year 2017 presents an opportunity to follow the seasonal changes of an outer planet all the way from its winter to its summer. During its 155 orbits around Saturn, including 55 flybys of the moon Titan, Cassini will fly by the icy moon Enceladus 11 more times. You can learn more about Cassini and other NASA missions at www.nasa.gov. The NASA contribution to ESA's Rosetta mission can be found at rosetta.jpl.nasa.gov. That's all for this month. I'm Jane Houston-Jones.